Because your character, I mean, um, you know, as interesting as it looks, I mean, she's a scientist, she's wheelchair bound, but she's differently able. So, um, tell us, uh, how was the preparation like? Like, um, um, did you face any roadblock, as in physically and otherwise? So, I think for me, I was very excited that I was firstly getting to play a character that is going to challenge me as an actor. And you're always looking to do some something like that. So, for, first and foremost, I had to understand what this condition entails. Uh, what would I, uh, what limitations would I have to face physically? Uh, you know, according to a cerebral palsy that my, my, yeah. my character has. And also, from the perspective of the, the effect it will have on my speech, um, on my breath, you know, so all of these things had to How be considered. You come up with, because you have a different. Uh, uh, yeah, because 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 of um, um, because of the condition, um, she has a certain. I mean, I don't know what. The, there's a certain spasm, uh, or, or like a certain uh, like a tick that happens on the on the face. Um, and then because of that, it, it also alters her speech and how you know how how she sounds. Um, uh, and there's a certain movement in the body which is like a. Obviously, it's it's a movement which is happening naturally for her because but of the condition. But to, I had to yeah, create it on exactly. my own, which was very difficult to do. So once I understood all of this, I I was you know I was working with very closely with the occupational therapist and an audiologist, and um, had lots of meetings with doctors to understand what it's going to be like uh, for somebody who has cerebral palsy. And uh, I prepped for it for for two and a half three months, and then you know tried my best. Yeah. yeah.